This will be the day and the time when things begin to turn around for you. You need to worship the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. I'm called to teach you how to worship the Holy Ghost. Teach you how to worship the Holy Ghost. I've never been taught this before. Yep, I know. But you're going to get it tonight. And this will be the day. Listen. This will be the day and the time when things begin to turn around for you. Acts chapter 13, verse 1. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers. Verse 2. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me. Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them. It says, while they ministered to the Lord and fasted, ministered to the Lord. Now, I looked this up. Ministered in many, many translations means worship. So they, and in these other translations, it says they worshiped the Lord and fasted say they worship the, the Lord and fasted in the NIV in the New Living Translation in the English Standard Version in the Berean Study Bible in the Christian Standard in the Contemporary English and in the International Standard and on and on and on it's translated they worshiped the Lord they would be ministering to him by worshiping him so they worship the Lord they worship the Lord they worship the Lord yes. you see they worship the Lord yes. and when they worship the Lord it obviously did something it opened up to them something right mm -hmm. and then these two men were put into the ministry things were open to them that weren't open to them before worshiping the Lord did something that other things that they may have been doing before didn't do second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away verse 17 now where is this by the way is this in your Bible it's in the New Testament it says now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is Liberty and I've said this over and over a kind of Liberty that you can't have unless the Spirit is Lord are you here who is this saying is called the Lord here now the Lord is that Spirit this is not Jesus this is talking about the Holy Ghost Jesus never turned into the Holy Ghost Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father and he sent the Holy Ghost now in the earth the Lord is that spirit are you here yeah. do you suppose Paul knew this who, who wrote this to the Corinthians Paul wrote this to the, this to the Corinthians he said now the Lord is that spirit mm -hmm. Acts chapter 13 as they including Paul right as they ministered to the Lord or as they worshiped say worshiped Worship. worshiped the Lord and if we put that in context with the other verse who would that be Holy Ghost as they worshiped the Lord and fasted the Holy Ghost said something separate me this is the Holy Ghost talking the Holy Ghost said separate me Barnabas and Paul for the work whereunto I have called them 
now lest you get freaked out who did jesus call lord did he call himself lord no. luke chapter 4 verse 18 the spirit of the lord is upon me and it literally means the spirit lord is upon me jesus called the spirit lord because he hath anointed me to preach he hath sent me say he hath sent me, he hath sent me. who sent jesus the holy ghost the spirit lord sent jesus here we have in acts chapter did you hold your place acts chapter 13 verse 4 so they being sent forth by the holy ghost who sent the apostles forth the holy ghost who sent jesus forth the holy ghost let's read this verse 2 as they ministered to the lord and fasted or they worshiped the lord and fasted the holy ghost said separate me barnabas and saul for the work wherein to i have called them verse 4 so they being sent forth by the holy ghost so who called them the holy ghost the holy ghost who separated them the holy ghost who sent them the holy ghost, the holy ghost. who's god in the earth today the holy, ghost. the holy ghost obviously he's the one doing all of these things is the holy ghost god yes is he a person yes he said he he said i yes he's god he's a person he's in the earth today well here it says they worshiped the lord and fasted they worshiped the lord now if perchance they were worshiping something else or someone else because everybody automatically goes well that must have been jesus they were worshiping jesus if they were worshiping someone else besides the holy ghost he quickly corrected them mm -hmm. they were worshiping the lord and the holy ghost said something yeah. he said separate me mm -hmm. unto the work where i have called them and then they were sent forth by me the holy ghost are you here mm -hmm. this should clear it up so if they obeyed if they were separated if they were called which they were which they were which they were and they were sent forth who were they serving the holy ghost they're serving the holy ghost are you here it's curious to me that people who don't worship the holy ghost and would never open their mouth and say i worship you holy ghost would like to correct me on saying that you shouldn't worship the holy ghost when they don't do it well you're too late for me i've been partaking of the benefits for many years now of worshiping the holy ghost and i'm showing you scripture after scripture that it's not only okay it's what you should be doing mm -hmm. so go pick on someone else who doesn't know the scriptures or the power of god i've answered all your silly questions more than once <laughs> i'm a user and i'm instructed to teach you how to worship the holy ghost he said to me teach them how to worship me can you hear that first corinthians chapter 12 and verse 6 and there are diversities of operations but it is a different god which works all in all oh wait a minute no oh wait wait it's the same god that works all in all what god must he be talking about the holy ghost in fact look down at verse 11 but all these worketh that one and self same spirit verse 6 again there are diversities of operations a diversity of operation means it does something different it operates a little differently and therefore it does something different say it does something, it does something different. different worshiping the holy ghost does something different and if you haven't been doing it then you can't have the things that worshiping the holy ghost will do for you right. or to you
and if you don't think this is different then you haven't been doing it I can guarantee you that and when I say worship the Holy Ghost I mean opening your mouth and saying I worship you Holy Ghost I don't mean the music part of the service you say worship and that's what everybody thinks oh I like the worship part of the service that's not what I'm talking about I like music too but a lot of that stuff that's being played is not worshiping the Holy Ghost I'm talking specifically about worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and you open your mouth and you say I worship you Holy Ghost this is a diversity of operations it will do something for you to you and for you that other things can't do the fact is I've been given these words by an angel you know angels worship God right they worship God night and day well, why it's an operation mm -hmm. he said use the words I worship you Holy Ghost now I would be disobedient to not use them I would be disobedient to not preach on them so I use them and I preach on them but this is a new manifestation of the spirit that you can enter into but you only enter into it through worshiping the Holy Ghost there are diversities of operations but it's the same God which works all in all verse 7 but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit this manifestation will profit you in ways that other things can't and won't it's a diversity of operations say it's a diversity, it's a diversity. Of, operations. of operations and if i do it say if i do it i, do it. I will prosper, I will prosper. In, ways in ways that i can't that I can. if i don't do it this is why god brings things into the earth so that we can do them and be obedient to them and have the manifestation of what they're bringing to us worshiping the Holy Ghost is God and I know you guys get it because you've been here all the time but a lot of people have never even heard this before in fact they were probably taught something else worshiping the Holy Ghost as God will do something to you that other things can't and won't in the use of these words i have found a whole new dimension a whole new world a whole new reality a whole new way of living in what in use of these words that were brought to me by an angel when i began to use them it began to open up say open up a whole new world a whole new dimension a whole new reality that i wasn't walking in before i'm telling you my testimony using these words will take you someplace you've never been before and by the way you're not allowed to go there if you don't use them it's a different operation a diversity of operations it does something different can you testify to this i'm here testifying to it mm -hmm. it does something different to me than all of the other things that i've done before these operate differently in you and on you and i have found it to be a key to opening please listen a key to opening things that have not been allowed to be opened or revealed in the earth up until this day are being revealed now to those who will worship the holy ghost a secret power a secret glory mm -hmm. now the lord is that spirit and we go from glory to glory even as by the spirit lord you think you're going to get there without him they worshiped the Lord and they entered into a new ministry a new manifestation something they weren't before these things are only known to people who worship the Holy Ghost I call them Holy Ghost worshipers 
things will open to you that won't open to other people because you worship him and he's God are you getting this yes. when I say I worship you Holy Ghost I'm not speaking in other tongues mm -hmm. and the reason I say that is is because you have a lot of people who would say well I speak in tongues so I worship the Holy Ghost no you don't mm -hmm. you know people have been speaking in tongues for a long time and they would never open their mouth and say I worship you Holy Ghost mm -hmm. it's a different operation because you can speak in tongues and speak in tongues and speak in, and speaking in tongues is not confessing the scriptures do you understand this yes. different operations when I confess specific prosperity scriptures that's an operation that does a specific thing specifically the prosperity scriptures manifest in my life when I'm praying in tongues that does a whole nother world of things mm -hmm. great and beneficial you understand but neither one of them are when I say I worship you Holy Ghost to me it's just an excuse for people to say to not worship the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. oh because I pray in tongues I pray in tongues well so do I but I'm telling you mm -hmm. that's not worshiping the Holy Ghost it doesn't mean you can't have some words of worship in there who knows you don't know but this does something different worshiping the Holy Ghost does something different look at me things have changed and are continuing to change because I worship the Holy Ghost the Living God I'm not the same that I was before you're not the same that's my point it's a diversity of operations it does something different and if it does something different and you're not doing it then you can't have the thing that the different operation brings to you now are you ready now, I don't know the exact percentage I'm gonna say 90% because that's what it seems like to me 90% of Christians including those who speak in tongues 90% of Christians if I told them to go and worship the Holy Ghost using the words I worship you Holy Ghost if I told them to go and worship the Holy Ghost and they did it 90% of them would come back and say that what they think was the Holy Ghost told them not to do it let me try to say it again 90% of Christians if I told them to go and worship the Holy Ghost and they did it 90% of them would come back and say that what they think was the Holy Ghost told them not to worship the Holy Ghost are you here first yes. Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not mm -hmm. that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you which you have of God talking about your body your body which you have of God and you are not your own for you're bought with a price therefore glorify God in your body who did he just say in the verse right before it was the God who's in your body the Holy, the Holy Ghost. Ghost what glorify the God in your body mm -hmm. who is this God is the Holy Ghost does worship glorify God glorify the God in your body what glorifies him more than worshiping and serving him mm -hmm. say worshiping him, worshiping him and serving him, and serving him. Glorifies, him. glorifies him who the God in your body the Holy Ghost are you here what what that's what it sounds like to me anymore when I when I when I bring certain things up to people and they're like and they they tell me this stuff no I, I don't think God wants me to do that what 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 using the words I worship you Holy Ghost and serving the Holy Ghost by speaking in agreement with his word glorifies him you are his temple you should be glorifying the God that's in the temple mm -hmm. now is my tongue part of my body mm -hmm. I hope so 
if your tongue is part of your body shouldn't you use your tongue to glorify God mm -hmm. oh don't speak about the Holy Ghost don't glorify the Holy Ghost don't magnify the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. you like that have you heard this what glorify God in your body your body your tongue is part of your body you should use your tongue to worship say to worship, to worship. the God that's in your body the Holy Ghost my tongue is part of my body arguably the most important part and most powerful part of my body mm -hmm. and I'm gonna use it to glorify the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. say I'm gonna use it, gonna use to, it. Glorify to glorify the Holy, the Holy Ghost am I being scriptural if I do so yes. uh, Luke chapter 4 verse 1 and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness who was Jesus led by spirit. who did Jesus follow the spirit. who was Jesus obeying the spirit. obviously mm -hmm. verse 2 being 40 days tempted or tested of the devil and in those days he did eat nothing and when they were ended he afterward a hungered now I want to bring something out to you the devil doesn't know everything the devil doesn't know everything verse 3 and the devil said unto him what's that word if, if. he was being tested of the devil mm -hmm. to see who he was the devil didn't know who he was the devil doesn't know everything he didn't know who Jesus was and the devil said unto him if thou be the son of God command these stones that it be made bread he's like yeah then I'll know <laughs> listen the Holy Ghost said this to me the devil doesn't know who I am he doesn't know everything oh my goodness 90% of the Christians have no idea that he's God in the earth how much less the devil are you here you can take it or leave it but the devil doesn't know who the Holy Ghost is verse 5 and the devil takes him up into a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and the devil said unto him all this power will I give thee and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it if thou wilt therefore worship me all shall be thine and we can see the devil here wants to be like God claims things to himself and lies about it mm -hmm. that he's like God and he has the ability to give all these things to people it's a lie if you worship him all will be yours look what Jesus said get thee behind me Satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve mm -hmm. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve who was Jesus talking about was Jesus talking about himself no. was Jesus worshiping himself no. was Jesus serving himself no. was Jesus self-serving he was worshiping the Lord his God and him only say only, only only serving and then we already read that but down in verse 18 it says the Spirit of the Lord is on me he's anointed me to preach he sent me and so Jesus began serving the Spirit Lord that was on him called him separated him and sent him are you here well if he served him only right before that says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve mm -hmm. it would have to be he worshiped the one that he was only serving there's only one being talked about thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve we talked about this earlier with the Apostles as they were 
sent forth who are they only serving yes. only it says you got to only serve somebody only 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 serve the one that sent them say only serve, only serve. the one that sent them and who would that imply you're supposed to worship the Holy Ghost the one that sent you mm -hmm. the Lord your God so which one worship or serve is the word only attached to both it has to be both the word only is attached to the service we know that him only shalt thou serve thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve the only is also attached to the one that you worship both I'm telling you you worship and serve the Lord your God you have a problem with me saying that worship and serve the Lord your God him only your only problem is is when I start to introduce who the Lord your God is in the earth today Holy Ghost Are you going to be able to fulfill that scripture if I'm right that we're talking about the Holy Ghost if you don't worship the Holy Ghost you can't and therefore if there's benefits on the other side of worshiping and serving the Lord your God the Holy Ghost and you're not worshiping him then you can't get to the benefits that are there and I'm telling you there's huge benefits well the devil through religious tradition and religious devils I guess has blinded people to this power because he wants to be like God he says that if you worshiped him all things will be given to you are you here mm -hmm. do you see what the devil's doing there he's saying oh if you worship me all the kingdom and the power and the glory of it will be given unto you if you worship me <laughs> the truth is the kingdom and the power and the glory will be given to you if you worship the Lord your God and him only serve now, all these things all these things all these things are in worshiping the Holy Ghost it's on the other side worshiping the Holy Ghost it's a diversity of operations and it changes you so many things I can only bring you up to the door and you have to walk through it take the scriptures with you and walk through that door and worship the Holy Ghost let him begin to change you all shall be thine if you worship him all shall be thine if you worship him all the promises are in him yes and amen is that a scripture mm -hmm. who said it the Holy Ghost all the promises that's all the kingdom all the power all the glory all the promises are in him if you worship him that includes wealth deliverance healing youth renewal do you know this worshiping and serving him only I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost if you will do this I'm telling you you will be heard in fact the Holy Ghost said tell them their voice is heard your voice is heard if you will worship the Holy Ghost and nothing shall be impossible to you for you will enter into a place and a space with him where all things are available to you and you are changed into the person who can believe it see it do it and live it and this is where we're called to be he will begin to execute his plan in the earth through you his worshiper we give you all the glory and praise Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you I, worship. I am your worshiper 
and I'm entering into a new place a new place of wealth a new place of glorious provision a new place where I'm healed my youth is renewed and all things are possible unto me I give you the glory in Jesus name Amen Right hand, Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. 